What's up, what's up? Just if you jip in the house, okay? Now I got me, I got a challenge, right? So I'm in Japan and I'm teaching English. And I think um, the youngest kids who ever started reading, of my students anyway, were, there were two. And one was from Wakayama, one was from Osaka, and they started reading at the age of two. I have a lot of students who started reading at the age of three. I've, um, I've taught in English to kindergarten kids who um, who uh, started reading in 10th, 11th, and the 13th weeks. Those are like one of three students. But by the 10th month, the, the whole class was reading. Um, I had one class where I was able to teach them how to make their own sentences. One kindergarten class to teach them to make their own sentences in 10 months. Um, and recently I have a five-year-old who hasn't been in my class for a year and he did some homework by himself, making some sentences with the word carry and stuff. And it was, it was pretty interesting. But as I, um, teach over here, oh, and also I can, um, teach like three-year-old kids and four-year-old kids to do, um, multiplication really easy. Not nothing difficult, but something simple and stuff. But it's really interesting because as I teach here, you know, it kind of hurts my heart to see that what I'm doing here can easily help um, young black children in the States with the grammar. I even wrote a grammar book. I got kids that were, well, this one kid is four years old, took a grammar cat, um, test, um, two of them. And one guy gets like a hundred on a test. And, and, you know, it's really easy. It's really easy. But it's really effective at the same time and it's really interesting so like i was saying you know uh it's kind of hurt my heart um, it hurts my heart that you know i'm over here teaching this but i can even if i were to go to the states because i don't have a degree in teaching it would be kind of hard for me to even convince people that I, i'm even doing this i mean even my friends here and people i know don't even believe me um what i'm doing what i'm doing and stuff um some people come to my class they watch but um, it's just, I don't know, it's almost like if people are not, I don't know, not moved or anything, or well, I guess no emotions, I'm not sure, but uh, my daughter, I taught her how to do a lot of things before she was five, six months, reading, writing, using dictionaries, how to talk, not how to talk, but, you know, um, make sentences, um, math, um, English, uh, blah, blah, blah. What is it called? Um, adding, subtracting, multiple di multiplication, divide, um, division, fractions, decimals, um, percentages, some algebra, some calculus, some trigonometry, some calculus and stuff. And it was it was pretty easy. It took only six months, and it wasn't hard. It just a lot of patience, but um, the process was really easy. You know, I just had to wait. You know, and. Um, it was really interesting. So now, you know, a lot of things are going on in the States with the police and the communities. And I even made this one video called 500 Years Plus of, of Marching, you know, how blacks, we have these problems and stuff. And uh, all we do is march. And in the Bible, I'm not a Christian or anything, but in the Bible, it does say that, um, I guess God or somebody says, my people lack... Um, for the um, lack of knowledge is knowledge that's got us in our situation so evidently it's going to be knowledge that's going to get us out you know and I don't think prayer is going to do it or anything like that because they've been praying forever right but um my challenge to you all is for you who have kids under five my challenge is for you to get them to start algebra by the time they are in the fifth, I mean fifth grade. By the time they're five years old, and have them reading also, and and reading pretty well, okay, and doing math pretty well, and um, well, actually, it could be both, but I want to focus on the math right now. So my challenge is for you to have your uh, your um, children, if they're under five, to be doing algebra level. Mathematics, even if it's three times x equals to five, if you start off right there, that's fine. No one's able to start by the time they're five years old, and it's really easy. All this stuff is connected. I'm sure 
you know, if you use a dictionary and, you know, you take your time, you'll be able to work with your children. Because um, kids are smart. And the only reason they're not smart is because somebody's not teaching them. And that's it. Um, just to give you a clue, if your kid's like, oh, I don't want to study, just tell them that um, the, un the reason they have to study is so that they can learn who they are. And learning who you are means to learn what you're capable of doing and what you're capable of um, not doing. Okay? Well, not capable of not doing, but what you're capable of doing. And then, um, and then, uh, and when you study, the whole, the whole purpose is to know who you are, but the goal of studying is to understand what you're studying. And so when you study something, if you don't understand it, that means you haven't reached that goal. So you have to understand it, then be able to use it to understand what you are, to know it and all that stuff to understand. Uh, I just messed it up. Anyway, to know what you, um, what you're capable of doing. There's no such thing as a dumb person. There's no such thing as a person that can't understand anything. There's no such thing as, what do you call that, um, learning disabilities and stuff like that. The only reason you don't understand is because you're not using a dictionary or you're not trying or you, you're fighting yourself to be dumb or not to try. Or straight up, you know, um, the instructions are um, not the way you want them, um, the way you want to receive it. But more than likely, I'm thinking it's just because of you're fighting yourself to understand. But anyway, that's my challenge to you parents out there. Um, for you parents who are, have kids in the um, in junior high school, then you can have them doing calculus by the time they finish. And just look at it. It's all a pattern. You know, it's just a pattern. You just got to understand the vocabulary. But anyway, um, give it a shot, okay? Because I've done it, okay? And um, just try it, you know? And if your kids don't want to study with you, then what you need to do is you need to find out who your um, kids respect in the neighborhoods. And you parents need to start swapping your kids around to do their homeworks in the homes of the parents who they respect. Okay, because if your, your kids respect your friend's parents, then they'll you tell them to go over there and do the homework. And your kids will go over there and they will do the homework. And more than likely that parent will assist your kid and your kid will respond better and receive the information better than it would be from you, like your um, your kid's parent, um, children do. And also the reason it's hard for your children to receive things from you is because there's no peace in your house. So you're yelling at your kids and you're spanking them and you're doing all of that stuff. It's not necessary. You just need to explain to them why once they understand, then they're going to be able to do it. And there's, um, there's a lot of explanations for things, but... Um, the best thing to do is if they because out in the streets there is no peace. Okay, so you guys got to keep that peace in the house Be patient, you know do things right work together as a family You know you got to start talking and reading dictionaries instead and reading um, books that it's going to help you Intellectually, you know, I'm not talking about this philosophy stuff because that's just gossip and stuff You don't need to take up philosophy to see how um, you are, you know, this study, who did that, and what do you think about this and that, that's gossip, you don't need that stuff. But I'm talking about sciences and stuff like that. And you don't really have to, um, this is really long too. But anyway, you don't really have to understand everything at one time to start understanding a little bit at a time. And you keep talking about it, and you discuss those things, and it'll become a household topic and then as you discuss it it'll um, it'll work itself out to the point where you'll be able to understand yourself but uh please um try this challenge okay i'm out peace